High in the hills of Los Angeles is headquartered a vast and lucrative empire, stretching from the shores of North America to the capitals of Europe and Asia. A domain built on perhaps the most famous current verbal trademark in sports. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! The emperor of this kingdom is Michael Buffett, boxing's preeminent ring announcer, whose simple five words in the ring have led him on a fascinating journey outside the ring. I end up from the age of 11 months old growing up with uh, foster parents which was sometimes as tragic in my life, it was a blessing. Were, you know, it's like I had to leave it to beaver life growing up. Buffer grew up as Michael Huber in a Philadelphia suburb. He was raised by Ralph and Lil Huber after Michael's biological parents divorced. I was never legally adopted, so I, when I went into the Army at the age of 20, I had to take my uh, real name, Buffer, B-U-F-F-E-R, and that's when I became Michael Buffer from that point on. After the Army, Buffer channeled his good looks into a successful modeling career, but the business that would make him world famous was yet to begin. Watching the fights on TV with my uh, oldest son, Michael, who uh, was like 13, 12, 13 at the time, saw a ring announcer give a horrible split decision. He, my son said, hey, Dad, you could do that. And I kind of lied and made up a fake resume and got my foot in the door. This is for 12 rounds in the lightweight division. Well, I was horrible. It was really terrible. It was like a nightmare. I kind of wanted something that would get the, uh, the attention of the audience, not tried to uh, fasten your seat belts. Fasten your seat belts. Man your battle stations. Man your battle stations. Batten down the hatches. And it was like crickets out there. Nothing worked until I remember um, Muhammad Ali at his weigh-ins for big fights would always say, uh, oh, I'm so pretty, I'm ready to rumble, rumble, young man, rumble. So I took that and fine-tuned it to what you have today. Five words which gained Michael celebrity status in the ring, changing his personal and professional lives forever. Through the years, being on television, the name Buffer, my birth father saw me on TV, and made a phone call, and uh, that's how I met him and met his family. Found out I had two new brothers, Bruce and Brian. Michael and Bruce quickly teamed up to form Buffer Enterprises, a company which has made the Buffer family rich beyond its dreams. I wanted to make this the most famous phrase, trademark, spoken by a live individual, but when I saw him announce, and when he went into the Let's Get Ready to Rumble, and they're jumping out of their seats, well, that's when something exploded in my head. As I got to know Bruce, I realized he's the businessman in the family, he really has this like certain ability to take care of these things. I would have been happy with if somebody just decided to make a bunch of t-shirts and put it on there and you made a few bucks. Buffer Enterprises. Today, the Buffer's few bucks number in the millions. Just how many millions, Michael isn't exactly sure. I have no idea. <laughs> You ask the other guy. Licensing of the phrase, let's get ready to rumble, just over the last seven plus years, internationally, is grossed approximately close to $400 million in retail sales. Let's get ready to rumble. Five words now permanently embedded in American culture. Show the opening of the impeachment trial. <laughs> we are here for the impeachment trial of President William Jefferson Clinton. Who would have imagined young Michael Huber would mature into visible boxing trademark Michael Buffer, a boxing ring announcer just as rich and famous as the fighters themselves. Five words that, for me, has really made dreams come true. I like to hope that on nights that I've said it, some kid that's pulling out of a parking lot with his dad says, you know, remember when that guy said, let's get ready to rumble, and everybody went nuts? Boy, that was really exciting. And I know I've done my job, and, and it's been more than just five little words.